If folks haven't seen it yet, here's the shot that made the calendar. Here's the shot on the hard card. Share the story, submitting your photo. You, know, you weren't going to, right? Originally? No, I wasn't going to, no. That's just not me, you know? Like, I just feel like if you, you know, toot your own horn or something, man, I was like, I, I was, no. One buddy's like, no, man, you're going to submit it or I'm going to submit it for you. And I'm like, I was like, all right, if y'all really want me to, I'll do it. You know, and I did. And sure enough, got the email about it. And here we are. You know, the rest was kind of history from there. You're kind of the go-to guy for Eastern turkeys, too. It, it's evolved to that. So yeah. Uh, yes, I have had prints in different publications and stuff like that. Field and Stream, Outdoor Live, Peterson's. And looking at your shots, some of the depth of field and mm-hmm. the glow of the sun coming through the, the feathers and things. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. It's all about the light, isn't that, it? it yeah. Most of the time. Yeah. That's what I tell people. I'm like, look, the bird is a true work of art. They make my job a lot easier. Yeah. One of my most remarkable. Remarkable ones was can't tell you how many hours I spent in the field trying to get this. I wanted a slow shutter of a wing dragging the ground, and so it had like that blur effect coming off of oh, it. Yeah. And I finally nailed it, and when that one hit, people were like, "Man, how'd you do it? That's it." The award-winning Tennessee Wildcast is on the air with the latest on hunting, fishing, boating, wildlife watching, and all things outdoors. Make welcome your host, drummer and outdoor expert novice, Jason Harmon. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Tennessee Wildcast. We're glad you're tuning in. Thanks for watching, for listening. We've got a great show lined up for you today. It's all about turkey hunting. Yes, we have a celebrity in the house today, too. (laughs) I think so. Yeah, yeah. Especially around here. Can't wait to get to know him a little better. <laughs> yeah, me too. Don, um, we're right in the, the heat of it here. What's going on with the radio stations? Yeah, Kicks 96 and Centerville is one of our favorites, and uh, as, as well as the other 23 that run our show on, on the radio across Tennessee. And uh, they run the Wildcast Monday through Friday at 5 a.m. And then on Saturdays, you get the full show at 7 a.m. So... Uh, anyway, we appreciate Kicks 96 right there in Centerville. So Definitely, definitely. We appreciate all our stations. And good news coming in. We're going to be on a few more TV stations yeah, soon. Yeah, so. that's heating up. That's that's getting good now. Yeah, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited. And I'm even more excited about today's show. We have uh, Carrie Wicks with us. And uh, if you're an outdoorsman here in Tennessee and you receive our calendar or have a hard card, you've probably seen some of his work. Yes. And I'm excited to, to dive into this today today um he's two for two yeah got a shot in the calendar you know that there is a lot of competition in that calendar <laughs> competition and we've been doing that for many many years and i heard i, I can't wait to hear the story again we kind of told he was telling it off mic about yeah his friends goading him into doing it and uh and lo and behold he's he's got the uh one of the covers and uh and the hard card so that's awesome yeah yeah it's it's really cool really cool um so real quick before we jump into that conversation i just want to remind people that spring turkey season is here uh it opened up last weekend and it's going to run through may 28th remember that it's only uh you get one bearded turkey per day not to exceed two per season only one can be a jake this year so make sure you check your guide uh that's page page is that don 26 in the guide make sure you check that and uh, review your regulations and always check specific wma regulations as well because sometimes yeah they vary those vary so anyway all right carrie thank you for being here pleasure thank you for having me i'm humbled to be here be a part and help out any way i can yeah yeah it's awesome to have you in studio and, and meet you for the first time um i saw the artwork i was part of the team that judged the photos and then you know we put it out for other folks to to judge uh-huh. and, and it, and it stood out and if, if folks haven't seen it yet here's the here's the shot that made the calendar and then here's the shot uh on the hard card so it was kind of a two for uh when I, you know you you submit photos for the for the calendar and you don't know what's going to happen but and then you get your your Find picture out. on a card your buddy sending screenshots hey man it's your picture yeah, yeah right what that, is that? that's that a hard card like, that what? looks familiar <laughs> well, it was so good that we had to we had to put it on our marketing team and our licensing division. They thought, well, that's going to look good on a on yeah. a card. So I, it does. It looks really good. It's the way it turned out and stuff on there. And like I say, it's an honor to 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 have it on there and to be the home state. You know, and uh, those are Tennessee turkeys right there. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, tell us a bit about yourself and how you got into this, and <laughs> and, and 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 a little bit about yourself. Well, I don't want to say I've made a living on turkeys. I really never have. It's but it's what got me into making a living that I do now. Um, been doing photography and stuff for twenty two years now, or whatnot. Mostly starting a lot of wildlife stuff, and then uh, gravitated over into got into you know more of the 
the outdoor industry, I guess you could say, and mm -hmm. working with a lot of marketing groups and TV shows and, you know, filming, producing. I mean, name it, I've probably had my hand in it somewhere or another at some point in time, but um, I've literally been, that's been the course of my career. Um, just anything to do with marketing related, doing content, anything like that. But um, other than that, man, I just, I live for the spring. I'm just counting down on days. And <laughs> like I told you guys earlier, I had to, I mean, y'all give me some days with a gun, so I had to figure out a way to get more days with, with them. So I, was like, I better pick up a camera, you know, shoot them with that. At least I ain't, you know, illegal. So, um, but yeah, that's been it, man. It's been a blessing. Like I said, I don't feel like I've ever really worked a day in my life. But Living man, the dream. I, I feel like, you know, people say that. I'm like, well, some days I feel like I'm probably living somebody's dream. But, <laughs> yeah. But no, it is, man. It definitely is. And um, I'm humbled by it. And now, yeah, it's taken me to where I'm at now, which is full time with um, Drake Waterfowl and Came on board with them two years ago, and we're doing a rebrand there. And awesome. A lot of really, really exciting things to come for that brand. You know, Nice. I mean, we'll be completely honest about it. You know, at one point in time, they were the premium, you know, and there's been a lot that kind of fell off, but we're about to get it back there. So All right. Stay tuned for that. It's a lot of cool things coming. Very cool. Yeah. Well, uh, your your Instagram handle KB Originals uh, on Instagram. I noticed there you've got you know marketing for Drake uh, Waterfowl and then Ambassador for Benelli. Yeah. And, yeah. So tell us a bit about that. Yeah. So they same thing. They kind of started with the turkey photos, you know, and they my name got tossed around there, and they were looking for like I guess a turkey ambassador, you know, to help represent their uh -huh. shotguns for turkey hunting stuff. And I remember the day I got an email from somebody there, and it was. You know, hey, we'd love to talk to you about coming on board with us and shooting our shotguns. I'm like, yeah, right, man. Like, Mossberg, <laughs> some of the guys got to step to the table first. I can't just go right into Benelli. Right? All right, this is spam. You know, go. literally, I didn't even pay no attention. Like, two weeks later, I got a repeat. You know, oh, copy back. He's like, wow. hey, I'd seriously I'd love to talk to him. I'm like, I may need to reach out to this guy. So yeah. I did. And sure enough, it was a real deal and been with them for the last four or five years. And yeah, I just, I'm an ambassador for them to represent all their, most of their turkey. You know, side of the shotguns and nice. help, help people out when they, which has gotten popular. You know, people doing their own loads or mm -hmm. you know chokes and stuff. So it's been it's been pretty cool to to be a part of that and have your name on it. You know, but yeah, great people. Um, shotguns hold up like none other for me, and yeah, we're good to go, man. Rock with it. Well, share the story uh, of how this all came to be. With you know the the submitting your photo, you you weren't going to right originally. No, I wasn't going to no. Uh, uh, some buddies, you know, they, I think they threw it around on me on Facebook or something. The link got put out. You yeah. Know, some of your photos and stuff. They're like, Kerry, man, you got to do this. You got you know, you, some of your turkey stuff, you know, some of the best we've ever seen. Yeah. You do it. You'd probably get in there. I'm like, that's just not me. You know, like, I just feel like if you, you know, toot your own horn or something, man, I was like, I, well, no, you know, if they ever want to use something, they find it and they're more than welcome to it. But mm. and I wouldn't, you know, that's probably going to be it. But one buddy's like, no, nah, man, you're going to submit it or I'm going to submit it for you. And I'm like, <laughs> You gotta know this Joker now. Like he, he, he was, was he was serious, you know. And I'm like, well, man, if he does it and he will, and not somehow do win that, you know, a spot in that calendar, it's gonna be awkward. And I tell him like, I don't know what y'all talking about. I didn't put it in there, you know. So I was like, all right, if y'all really want me to, I'll do it, you know. And I did, and you know, kind of went on about it, and sure enough, got the email about it and <laughs> stuff. And here we are, you know. The rest was kind of history from there. But it's. I am glad that it did happen. Just like I say, going and getting on that card and stuff like that. It's something that's t for me to be proud of. And like I said, I've been in a lot of publications and everything, but that one, that one means a lot. Yeah, and you didn't even know that it hit no. the hard, that hit the hard card either, did you? No, not at all. And uh, my buddy Matt Harrison it was at the NWTF. I'm pretty sure um, one night he sent me a screenshot of the email about buying the hard card and it had the <laughs> picture on there. And he said, "Hey man, it's just your picture." I'm like. Yeah, what is that? You know, and uh, he said it's the TWRA. It's only it, it made the made the hard card. Yeah, and like he's actually from Mississippi, and but he goes when he goes to every other state to no the non resident hunt. He buys a hard card and he collects them. Oh yeah, he was ecstatic. He's like, man, my my dudes ain't got on the hard card. I'm gonna be hunting there anyway. I'm getting one. I'm like, send me the link to that. That can't be real because then I was really taken to the side. Like I said, I was humbled by it and. When he sent me the link and I saw his real deal, I was like, now this is freaking cool. You know, this is a little piece of history there. Absolutely. You yeah. know, and that's the thing for me is to, for your home state and somewhere you're proud to be from, you know, when you tell people where you're from and to that's show them nice. that and be a part of it, it's something to, 
some archive for sure. So I yeah. appreciate it, guys. I really yeah. do. Well, it's cool. Uh, it's cool to hear that other folks are collecting these, and you know, yes. that's kind of what they're for. But it's also, you know, a waterproof uh, card for for the yeah. outdoors. It works works great, better than the paper version, you know, and yep. a little something that sticks in your wallet. And uh, if people don't know what they are, it's just it's easy to to get one of these. It's five bucks. Uh, online at GoOutdoorsTennessee.com, and it prints your license right there on the back with your, your TWRA number and all the information needed, uh, and, and every license that you have will be printed on the back. So, yeah. Um, it definitely is handy. I mean, to put that in your wallet and not to fold it up and try to keep up with that paper, you know, it is, right. the numbers get rubbed off, so if that's mm-hmm. the way to go, no doubt. Yeah, and everything these days is pretty much, you know, on the app or, or virtual. You can just go online and check your animal in and, uh-huh. uh, you know, tag before you drag this year out there in the turkey woods. Make sure you uh, tag your animal before you before you pull it out but um, and put that confirmation number in and all that fun stuff. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So... Um, and back on the calendar, November. It's November. Yeah, so uh, just with it, just so y'all know, that same buddy that told me to do that, now, uh-huh. he, now he's got me in his phone as Mr. November. I'm like, <laughs> man, that ain't even right. I was like, what you do? <laughs> he gets a kick out of it. He, and now when he ever answers his phone, it's like, Mr. November. Like, give me a break. You the way, because of you, I'm on there. He's like, yeah, don't you forget it. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Uh, well, um, you may have touched on this, or maybe it was off off mic, but uh, you had a post out there recently on your Instagram. I've been been trolling you a little bit, no, checking out yeah. some of your stuff. But uh, you're a hunter first, photographer second. Mm-hmm. Kind of explain that post and what was behind that. Well, because you so many times, and you know the way the social world is now. You know, it's everybody they think they know you because they follow you, and that's not it at all. And I, I've never taken backlash for anything, but I have in a way, and. Some people think, well, if you love it so much, you know, those type of people, why would you ever shoot it? I'm like, well, understand me first. You know, I've had to really, and that was a thing for me is, you know, photography and video on them at an early age. I didn't have nobody teach me how to turkey hunt. Hmm. Um, I just had to do it on my own, and that was one way I learned how to do it was spend time with them. I'm like, well, you ain't going to learn from nobody better than that. If I can figure out how to get close to them, I'm right. something right. And then I started learning a lot of traits, and that's where it came from. So. People, when they say stuff, you know what I mean? They're always like, oh, he's, just a, he's a turkey photographer. No, man, don't get it twisted. I, <laughs> I love to shoot them just as much as I love to photograph them. But yeah. you got a lot of respect for that bird. That bird, uh, you know, I don't think people really understand how much um, art there is into a bird like that and the, the, the trait that they have. But, yeah, that's kind of what I mean by that, you know, hunter first and photographer second. You and know. I understand you're kind of the go-to guy for eastern turkeys, too. It, it's evolved to that. So yeah, like, yes, tell sir. us a yes, little sir. bit about that. Yeah, um, so, you know, I have had prints in different publications and stuff like that, Field and Stream, Outdoor Live, Peterson's, and let me just keep naming them pretty much. If you picked up any kind of outdoor magazine in a dentist's office or something at some point in time, uh-huh. you know, I've probably been in that magazine. But, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just you know taking it there and and running with it, but it I mean it is what it is, really. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Well, so for somebody that wants to get into it, you know, kind of wanting to get into that world of mm-hmm. photography, and and we'll touch on the hunting side here in a minute too. But do uh, you have any tips or suggestions for the gear? Oh, for that, sure. Uh, get you a camera and go. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, that's amazing what these iPhones will do these man, days. Let me tell you something. I think it's going to put me out of business before long. <laughs> the thing is, they came a long way into. Uh, they're great though. They really are. It's funny because um, well, I'll get with the guy that I do the high altitude calls and stuff with. I heck, we got him a camera one time for him his own hunts, and now he's like. Man, Carrie, I think I'm just going to take my iPhone, you know. But no, uh, <laughs> if I had any tips for anybody, if they want to ever get into it, is first get a camera, you know. Don't try to just ask somebody that you think is doing the best work what they use because it's, it's probably going to be too advanced. But get something you can learn the basics from. Uh-huh. Uh, figure it out. Figure out the camera basics first, and then it's going to make you a better better person with it. But um, just go shoot, you know. Figure out your own style and stuff, what you want to do. But there's definitely tons of information out there. and Everybody thinks, oh, man, you're getting, you know, these so close. And, yeah, sometimes it's the Indian, not the lens, but it yeah. comes with time, too, you know. But you got to, you know, stay with them and yeah. take your opportunities when you get them and 
sometimes the Lord blesses you with, 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 with the right shot. You know? I got a feeling your first camera didn't include much more than a 50 millimeter lens, so you probably had to find your own way to get close, right? Even, yeah, it probably wasn't even that nice. It was oh, okay. some kind of like a 16 to 35 or something like that. It was a wide angle. Oh, okay. You know? And I'm why? like, why not getting close? He's like, it's zooming, right? No, that's not what that is, buddy. Like, uh-huh. Yeah, but uh, definitely not. I mean, it. I've worked my way up, you uh-huh. know, and it's better than me, even though it's been frustrating times, you know, and you wish you had some better stuff and you know you could do it better. But honestly, not having that stuff and letting that make me more lazy actually made me a better hunter. But sure. You know, made me a better woodsman to get in there with them and get tight and then start challenging myself. I want to try to get this shot. All right. When well, you fail about 30 times, I'm going to get that one. Yeah. That one time was worth it, you know, and that's kind of what I've done. I've literally, in my own head, just kind of thought of different shots and wanted to highlight the bird in certain ways that people probably don't ever think about them or see them. Yeah. You know, and when I show it, showcase it, and I think that's kind of where my niche came from. People were seeing the bird in um, a different way. You know, like one of my most remarkable ones was the, um, I think I put like the sound spring or something like that with it, but it was literally the, uh, man, I, gosh, I can't tell you how many hours I spent in the field trying to get this. I wanted the slow shutter of a, a wing dragging the ground. And so it had like that blur effect coming off of it. Oh, yeah. I finally nailed it and, when that one hit, people were like, "Man, that how, how'd you do it?" You know, like, "Yeah, that's it." You yeah. know, like you literally captured the motion of that's why I put it in the motion of spring or motion of sound or something like that. But anyway, yeah, I mean, just challenge yourself, you know. And mm-hmm. as long as I, it's made me a better woodsman anyway. But it's been good, man. I think uh, you know, looking at your shots, some of the depth of field and mm-hmm. the glow of the sun coming through the, the feathers and things. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. It's all about the light, isn't that, it? it yeah. Most of the time, it, yeah. that's what I tell people. I'm like, look, I'm you know, don't get me wrong. I know I'm blessed and stuff. But it's you know, came from over time. But the bird is the true work of art. They make me you know, make my job a lot easier. But yeah, hey, uh, yeah, that lighting, man. If you can hit, I hit it right. Heck, I think I was texting you some stuff yesterday when I was like, man, they like, look, man, I can't be there anymore. They're putting it on right now. I got, I'll get you in the evening time. This, that, that, hour, that hour, first hour in the morning is right, right about now. Yeah, yeah. We knew your priorities were in the right place. When, I, when, I'm just being honest with you. you know, yeah. <laughs> no, it, yesterday, actually, I had a, a buddy of mine. He's um, pretty big in the hunting industry and stuff. They do a series called Chasing 49. Um, Steven Spurlock, he's one that produces that, and he's been at my house for the last four or five days and he's like man i need some good eastern stuff and i kind of sit beside you i'm like i don't want that happen much it's because you know <laughs> me and him we did we we got some really that's some of the stuff i was sending you know yeah. he was running a lot of video stuff i was doing photos and then i do some video do photos but we were we had a good time it was yeah some really cool stuff and really good good stuff to show y'all turkeys are hot right now in tennessee so they yeah. are definitely hot that's why i tell people too, i'm like one thing about photography I'm like uh, i get to know what the birds are doing you know where they're at in the season and how to approach them when the season comes in. Mm-hmm. You know, cause sometimes it's early, sometimes it's late, but I'm telling you right now, and it's going to be, you're going to keep seeing them drop. You know, it's, uh, they hot. You yeah. Know? You can, you can the, get the, in there the, with all that camera gear. You know, he's going to get in there with a gun. For yeah. You. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's right. They, um, the thing about it is that, you know, setting up on them and everything like that, it's, it all plays a role, you know, but I, and then yeah, the season pushed back, you know, this uh, year. Yep. Yep. And I, at first I was like, man, it's kind of puts me in a bind because, you know, that's not the same as Kentucky, Missouri. Like, I got to redo my schedule. But, but I'm going to tell you, I'm glad to see it, kind of see it because they've definitely been getting a lot. You know, you can tell they've had a chance to get a lot of breeding done uh-huh. before they got popped. And that's going to pay off big dividends later on. You're going to see a big, big result from that. So I had a hat off to you guys. Yeah, that's cool to hear your perspective on it because there's a lot of different perspectives out there. Some folks are excited about it. Some folks are like, man, I want to be in the woods right now. I want to be in the woods. I do too. And know, that was among me. the the main reasons, you know, among the conversation that happened when the commission decided to go that route and yeah. push it back. So, yeah. yeah, that's what I think I had heard somebody say or something. And I was like, man, that's I get it. You know, that's they got a good point. You know, if it's if you want to better numbers, you better fight them with numbers, right? Yeah. And um, definitely, I mean. That, don't get me wrong. I mean, we all know that you know that last weekend was probably on fire. But <laughs> hey, they got a lot of breeding done because I've we've been seeing a lot of um, gobblers with you know just instead of four or five hens, there's like two, three maybe max, and then other gobblers are trying to come in there and get on and they're fighting. Like it's it's good right now. Yeah, get in the woods. For <laughs> yeah, sure. get out there and have fun. Get in the woods. Um, I guess really. 
you had a couple of different well, with the season being pushed back it kind of gives you an opening day if you want to hunt in alabama or mississippi right that was it yeah so i just got <laughs> back from alabama you know that long ago and went down there and spent some time with a good friend of mine named george mayfield which george was in ah uh, man he's just a legend on his own um that guy's kind of been a mentor for me over the years and he's made a big step for his name you know from what he's done in the turkey community i guess you could say he hunted with the greats you know ben lee and and he's king and that was his running mate so hmm. to get down there and live in alabama tromp around some of the woods that the legends once stomped on and then hold some by the neck was pretty pretty satisfying <laughs> yeah to, to pass the time yeah i saw some saw some of your clips on instagram of you know, hauling a bird out. That's, mm-hmm. that's great. Yeah, yeah. Different style of hunting down there, I guess. Those pines like that. I've never hunted in. Well, so that area is known as the Flatwoods of Alabama. You know, lives and all that. And it is. It's a lot different from what we are here. I'm like, man, these, these suckers ain't got a chance here because they can't just fly over to one hillside and my big hind end try to chase after you know like i can get you here buddy like, yeah. Go ahead. but no we uh it is a different style it's a lot of a lot of big pines you know a lot of clear cuts a lot of uh um different it's just different and uh birds are i ain't gonna say they're different but they are alabama birds and i've always said you kill a bird in alabama you kill a turkey about anywhere you want to in the, in the u.s and some of them birds are spawn of Satan. I swear, man. They, <laughs> they, can, they can make you good, they good, good or bad. And most times, it's bad. But we did. We had a good time down there. We, we were all successful in killing a couple of birds, and yeah, we uh, just kept after it. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. I mean, you can get a few opening days there in yep. different different states. For sure. And, uh, get to see you, buddies. You know, you don't typically get to see too yeah i know a lot of people come down here or up here i guess depending on which direction they're coming from uh-huh. tennessee's popular for out-of-state or out-of-state yes. hunters so uh come on have fun um well this past weekend was was juvenile or, or young mm-hmm. sportsman's hunt and you had yeah. the, the opportunity to take a young man rhett right Rhett man yeah over at man he's uh not my nephew but he's like my nephew you know you couldn't ever tell us any different and yeah, it was his first one, and um, my best friend I grew up with, Nate Smith, that's his son. Um, me and him always hunting together growing up and stuff, and then my son, Atley, he's 17 now, and, you know, last year was his last youth hunt, and mm-hmm. we were like, man, I can't believe it's already, you know, time flies. Yeah, and it does. Nate's like, oh, wait a minute, man, Red be Red be good to go next year. I'm like, <laughs> oh, wait a minute now. All right, I see where we're going. Like, it's just passing the torch, you know, so it was cool to – in one last year just to roll back into it to somebody that's you know meant a lot to you and uh-huh. his son now and get to watch them experience it together and that's just a memory you cannot erase you know and um it's fun to kill them yourself but when you see your own killing them and having fun and enjoying it you know it's that's something yeah you know, something, something really special but, yeah it's it's crazy and then these days i mean like with all this technology that you're using out there it's easy to capture these hunts you know mm-hmm. and and capture these kids first first birds yeah, we say that and then <laughs> you get somebody like a five-year-old or something out there and you're like oh, man, I keep this one still quiet and wanting to whine wanting to point fingers but we got our little tips and tricks you know we always done we learned the hard way with my son you know but it is it is fun to be able to to capture and and save you know a memory like that and mm-hmm. It, 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 I think he was actually keeping me and Nate more calm than we were keeping him <laughs> calm. And we're like, are you on? He's like, I'm going to wait till he gets still first before I shoot. I'm like, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Wait, wait till he stops. You know? It was a good time, man. That's good. Uh, yeah. It and like- and that, that stuff, that footage, man, it's as raw as it gets. You know, it's heck, I think I'm jerking the camera around. It, it definitely ain't production quality. You know, it went for that. It was heck yeah we got it done you, know? you got a whole movie you yeah know, it's what it was what it felt like a little VHS tape or something. yeah oh man oh, yeah well did you call it in with the KB hen we did actually yeah we uh we ran my call Nate's like I say him being one of my good friends has always ran that call I tossed them off to him over the years and stuff but we did we had just good success with it like he's always done performed for me and uh, it's been a good one, man. Yeah, well, that's and that's that's one of your calls, one it you is. developed, right? Yeah. yeah, kind of funny story on that too. I don't know how much time we got. But, oh, you got plenty of time. Um, yeah, that one's mine. The KB him from uh, it's with Houndstooth Game Calls, and like anything else with this turkey stuff, man, I I just had it set in my mind. I wanted to yelp up a turkey with my own mouth yelper, but I wanted to build it. I want somebody else to build it for me. And mm-hmm. I wanted to figure it out on my own. And being through the industry and stuff, I had enough, you know, friends. They knew how to build them, and I said, hey. I ain't looking to get your numbers or your stretches, anything like that. Just point me in the right direction when I need to get, and I'll figure it out from there. And they did, you know. And some of them would 
toss off some numbers to to at least get you sounding somewhat. And then from there, I fine tuned. And I was like, well, this works for me. And I, you know, I got a good front end yelp with it and what I was looking for. And yeah. I did. I built up that call for I don't know how many years for myself. And then Lyle Gilbert, the one that owns Hounds too, good buddy of mine, and he was always on me, hey, man, why don't you throw that call in the, in the call line? I know people hitting you up about it. You know, social media, they think you got something special in there because they – consistently seeing killing turkeys and taking pictures of turkeys uh-huh. like, and i would post stuff you know spring's coming i'm sitting there building my own mouth just something you know yeah, not yeah. To, but i was never into you know sell it or anything and finally he convinced me he's like you getting tired of it yet getting tired of them dms i'm like <laughs> yeah man it's kind of getting what can we do here and i was like can it help you i was like these i was like you know shoot me straight man you know You've yelped on it because I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to set myself up for failure. Yeah. I was a nervous wreck. I ain't no stage caller or nothing like that. You know, I was like, hey, man, this thing works for me. Mm-hmm. But he knew, you know, it was a good one, I guess. And doing his profession, he's like, man, he goes, people will love this one. There's something in it that you've done that's really good. And uh-huh. let's put it out there. I said, well, do you think it'll help your business? He said, with you and what you're doing and this call, it would really help my business. I said, we'll do it. I don't want nothing. Not, you know, didn't want anything from it, and awesome. I haven't taken anything from it, and um, just a good friendship and people. You know, it bringing people success, and that's all it's been about. And uh, it's been it's been a good one, though, man. It that night it got posted. I was asking my buddy Nate once to talk about. I was at his house, and the night was making it go live. I was, which we had kind of built it up a little bit. You know, that we was going to be putting it out, and I think I did. I ain't never sweated so much. And degree, they couldn't have sent me a shipment full to keep me dry. It's kind of like NFL draft night. Huh? You do, right? You know, I was like, Nate, it ain't gonna work for people, man. I don't think. I'm like, let's not. Let's. Do, I ain't doing. It. I'm calling a lot. Like, he grabbed my phone, like literally chucks it across the liver. He said, No, nah, man. Like you doing it? It's gonna. Be, it's, it's a great call, dude. And we was done too far in, you know. And we posted it, and it. It's been a blessing to say it's what's been cool, man. Good like, deal. It's been nothing but positive. I mean, yeah. there's all kinds. I mean, heck and. Local co-op up here, buddy. Bonds. Hey, man, picked up your call at the local. I'm like, it's made it up this far. Like, what in the world? You know, like hey. that's awesome. Yeah, it is stuff like that. You know, it's just it's humbling. You know, and it's for me. That's the the gratifying thing about it is if it's helping somebody else. You know, and yeah, they're enjoying it. Shoot, how much more rich can you get? You know, mm-hmm. find it. That's great. It's cool to hear that. You know, uh-huh. you just love passing it on as much as. Absolutely. You know, not taking the the fame and fortune from it. Don't just, come yipping at my turkeys. <laughs> I ain't going to go that far. No. Uh, but for sure, if I can ever help out in any way, I'd love to, you know. That's awesome. Yeah. Anybody. Well, while we're on the calls, we got about a minute and a half here, two minutes. Uh, you said during the COVID time, uh, you you came across a, a pretty unique gobbler. Tell that story. The old breakdown, shakedown up here on <laughs> Yeah, God. Hey, don't tell your spot now. You I almost, almost came away. Uh, better not say what ridge, <laughs> what hills I was uh, over in. We'll say Charles County. Okay, but yeah. Long story short, man, we were COVID year, the COVID year, and you know it was opening morning, and uh, turkeys. Had, you know we'd been set up for a minute, and turkeys on the roost, and they're gobbling on the on still on the roost uh-huh. now. And by the time, by the time I heard it, Nate, I could tell Nate heard it, and he looked over at me with this look like. He goes, you hear that? I said, what is that sound? He said, I don't know, dude. Look, what is that? It's like coming down this ridge, right? You know, across from the turkey's a goblin over here on, on that ridge. And what it was was somebody had probably watched some YouTube video not a couple of nights before. And like, I ain't, you know, I deer hunt, I hunt. But, heck, I watched my YouTube video and go over here and get me this little shake, you know, little shaker call. And that's what it was. It was one of them shake goblins. Shake goblins. He was coming there wearing that sucker out just walking. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I said, it sounded like an upset Mary in morning that did anything. And I was like... Holy my gosh, oh my, like, <laughs> well, it's one of two things going to happen. He's either going to run these birds over to us, and we're going to have a great morning, or they can go the next time. we got to relocate, buddy. But <laughs> that, was a, that was COVID year in, in, a, in, a, in a jar right there. Learned uh, a new locator call there. Yeah, <laughs> right. we, can, we can drive about, but somebody got outdoors that day. It's all yeah, 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 that was a big year for people getting outside. For sure, so. for sure. Well, Kerry, I appreciate it, man. It's hey, been fun. It's, it's been a pleasure. Anything I can ever do for you guys, y'all let me know. All right. Uh, awesome. Sure enough. Hope you guys, y'all go buy a card. Hey, yeah, hey, go pick me. up your hard card right there. Five bucks at GoOutdoorsTennessee.com. It helps with uh, with wildlife and all things wildlife right there. So go get you one of those. Uh, find you a calendar. You got Kerry's picture there as well. So, hey, man, appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Good luck in the woods Seriously. this year. Thank y'all. y'all All righty. We'll see, see you, you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Stay connected with TWRA by visiting our website at tnwildlife.org and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hey, it's all about Tennessee wildlife.
It's what we do. Tennessee Wildcast will be on the air again next week. We'll see you then.